right along. We're going to go through with the port visit of the day. Port visit of the day being Palma de, Mal de Mallorca. 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 All right. Palma, also known as Palma de Mallorca. All right. It's like a small island off the coast of Spain. You've been working on your Spanish, huh? <laughs> Ain't had no choice. No choice. <laughs> Using what I learned in high school. They go, they go palm, <laughs> they go palm of Spain right there. Right there. And I remember when we first pulled in the palm of Spain. Excuse me, I can't remember what ship it was. I think it might have been on the porter. Yeah, we went down for it. Yeah, yeah, we went there. That, that's my first time was on the porter. We went to Palm of Spain. And you talk about a beautiful port. All right. Palm of Spain. And also remember, I want to take you all the way down here. All right. This right here. There's Palm of Spain. And then an hour away is this Magaluf, which I'm going to talk about as well. You remember Magaluf? Yeah. Yeah. Palm of Spain. But you talk about a very nice port. Beautiful, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, it's I mean, beautiful. We pulled in and we was uh on the pier and we was walking down the long road trying to get a cab, and then there was like some cliffs, and then I mean the water was beautiful. Beautiful. We was walking up the pier and it's beautiful water. It was right on the side of the cliff. There's a lady down there, uh, you know, got her, you know, got her top off, sunbathing, you know, beautiful <laughs> beach right on the side. I mean, it was one of the prettiest pictures you can get right there on the side of the beach. I was like, man, I got to come here when I'm civilian, you know, to travel here. Then, you know, we went into town and you got all these, I mean, it's like so much historic sites you can see. I mean, if you got, if you like photography with old pictures and stuff like that, I mean, you're going to have a time. Wow. It is beautiful. Yeah. Never, wow. never, never been there before though. Oh, no no oh, oh man oh man you talk yeah you, you gotta go there um let me tell you this one story z story real quick all right we was walking we was walking and you know sangria seemed like the 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 state drink that's my first time having sangria was in palma spain and i'm talking about it's one of the most delicious alcoholic <laughs> beverages that i ever had because i think i ain't never drunk that much lick that much liquor in my life you know, till I went to Palma, Spain, but that, I mean, it tastes like fruit punch, but it, it got a little kick to it. But man, I mean, it was delicious. And you, every time we sat down, yeah, bring out, go ahead, bring out a picture of sangria. <laughs> you know, they have like the, the fruit in there and everything. And then we was walking down this, uh, this, um, alleyway. this alley. We was walking down this alley and, uh, we sat down and I told the guy, I was like, Hey, get bring i want a steak and uh he's like how do you want it i was like i want it well done he's like no no senor you you want it rare you want it rare it's like man i don't like eating rare steaks and he's like trust me you're gonna love this steak so he goes cooks it bring it out and i tell you man when he brought that steak out there's blood all over the plate for real i mean i mean i never see a i'm like man did you cook this <laughs> <laughs> you don't look brown on the outside. But I mean, there was so much blood on the plate. I'm like, dang, this thing raw, ain't it? He's like, trust me, it's going to be the best steak you ever had. And believe me, I ain't been nowhere else that had a steak that tastes that good before. That dang near melts in your mouth Ooh. was delicious. And ever since then, I, I, I order my steak rare. I order my steak rare. I'm like, God, man, I, I try. One place came close, which is Haifa, Israel, which is another port we could talk about. Came close, but ain't nobody came close to this dude. I can tell you what that, <laughs> what the name of the place was. I couldn't tell you what alley was down. <laughs> you know, we just sat down, and that dude brought me the best steak I ever had. <laughs> how, how was how was y'all's experience there? Well, I I'll go next. Um... I freaking love Spain. I love the sangria. I don't think you could get sangria anywhere you want, but it ain't Spain sangria because no. 
Mm -mm, mm -mm. The love they put into those grapes when they make their wines, and then the love they put into those fresh fruits and the soil that it comes from, it just Ooh, makes the sangria better in Portland. But what I like about it, like you already have said, the architectural, the buildings, you know, this is an island that has been colonized by many different governments. This Spaniards, the Romans, the Muslims, the Moors. So at some point it was run by Christians, run by Muslims, run by this, run by that. So it has this um, influence of so many different cultures. And this was a very black island at one point when the Moors took it over. And so what I love about it, it's very easy to get to Africa because it was once run by Africans. So um, a lot of people, of course, they don't talk about that kind of history. But when I was there, that's the history that I was on. I think there was something in this article about they, they actually said that. Uh, they say it's like hmm. the quickest way to Africa is through uh, Palma, Spain. But, but there's something down here in the article about that. But yeah, how, how was your experience, Hirsch? Uh, Spain, I mean, Palma was awesome. It's, uh, when I went there, it was the first time we pulled in. I was our little Liberty buddy. So we, you know, we always tour. We'd always go around me, Taylor, Brown, Ali, you know, whoever. And we just sightsee. That was our biggest thing was just walk around sightseeing, go to little churches, go to side alleys, go to walk through people's neighborhoods. You know, and we'd feel safe walking through there, like we were talking before. We don't have any fear. Um, walk around, get some box wine, hide it, sip, sip while we're walking around. Um, the food was great. We had paella. We try anything that was local food. We would try. Uh, even going, I know we went to Burger King one time, but the Burger King isn't like the Burger Kings. In the state. <laughs> food is like it's like going to Chris compared to our. Um, <laughs> It has quality, right. you know, they've got better standards of, of um, food. Over there. Like going but, to uh, Chris. Also, uh, my, my Palmo's, yeah, Palmo's good for um, Mallorcan pearls. I remember I, I bought some Mallorcan pearls for my mom. Uh, oh, wow. But, you know, I, I buy a lot of gifts too over there, like just buy little things so I can have souvenirs of the countries. Um, but yeah, I, that's one of the, I would say my top five port visits. Oh, like, yes, most Spain. definitely. Palma is a great place. If you ever get a chance, you should check it out. Yeah. And uh, if you do go there, an hour away is Magaluf, the little place that I showed you. That's like and, the Miami uh, of Spain, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Man, you talk about bars and restaurants and a lot of great shopping. Ooh, some great shopping. If you like buying like trinkets and stuff like that, I mean, Magaluf was great. It's like an hour, hour cab ride away. And, uh, cabs there like was cheap you know fairly cheap you know it wasn't that it didn't cost that much you know but that that was a great great port as well but yeah yeah that's that's my top five best ports i always every time we going into the med or we leaving the mediterranean i'd be praying i was like man i hope they stop in palma please stop in palma i don't, I don't care <laughs> if we only hit one port on the six or nine month cruise as long as we hit palma spain and i'm happy <laughs> All right. Anybody got anything on Palma, Spain? Palma, Spain, boy, that, that's a sweet port right there. I don't have nothing on Palma, Spain, but RIP to the to the to the deployments where we would go to six, seven amazing places. They just don't do that no more. So yeah. I'm so no. Yeah, yeah. You know when that you know when that changed, right? Uh, no. Nine eleven. Everybody, every, every every place you go to, it's like okay, there's a terrorist threat. <laughs> you know, you know, they're about to attack us. That's every, you know, and I I remember well when I mean on my first ship when we did a Mediterranean, I we hit between ten and fifteen ports when we was in the Mediterranean. It was ridiculous. When I was on the the FFG Halliburton, we hit a lot of ports in the Baltic. When I went. Uh, after the Halliburton, I went to recruit in New York during 9-11. I was actually in in, the, in New York during 9-11, uh, Long Island. But uh, every, a, after that point, 
they cut down the pork business almost in half, dang near to none. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So, I'm not wrong. Okay. No, no, no. Go. Yeah, I never got to experience that side of the uh, port business, but I remember um, the first port um, deployment on Porto, we had that uh, Sniffum, Standard Naval Forces, Mediterranean thing. I was getting sick of pulling in the course because <laughs> every <laughs> like, week or two weeks we were pulling into somewhere. And if I, I think I had just transferred. Money. I just transferred. Okay. We yeah. Save any money. You can't but save money with that many visits. Gracious. <laughs> and I remember, I remember emailing you. I remember, I remember emailing you when I, I think I was in NRD, you say you couldn't save any money or whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Because y'all was hitting like ports every other day. Everybody Man was broke. Man, it's in equity detail. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah. 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 You, if you hit too many ports, you start, you know, losing. You start losing money. You're trying to save some dough. Then you start losing all your money. By the time you get back, you done. Yeah. You, 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 you're in the hole. You, you're supposed to that save NATO money. Was good, though. That was a good NATO. That was. Yeah, man, I wanted to stay for that. I wanted to stay for that, but they they kicked me off. They sent me to the dang Cape St. George, and oh my lord, <laughs> CG falling apart. <laughs> oh my gosh! But uh, Palma, Spain, everybody, if you get a chance, you know you need to go put that on your list of places to travel to because it's an awesome port. Hard work, work, hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, work, hard work, I earn my pay. Hard work, work, hard work, do it every day. Hard work, I work. get up about a quarter to three. Hard work.